What up, Doke Hunters? We are continuing the summoning video series by now doing the ninth anniversary ticket summon. Now, normally I would like to do this video at the end of the anniversary, like at the very end, but I want to get this video out there to remind people to get these summons in as soon as possible before making the decision to buy anyone with your special stones or coins. These videos are also serving as a reminder to that fact because in these banners, while the features may not necessarily be what you want, it's the unfeatured pulls that really matter. The more opportunities that you have to do this, the more of a chance you might have to randomly pull an unfeatured LR, which could be an LR Broly Trio, LR Judah, LR anybody else, Bulma, a lot of other options that you could get in here that you might have otherwise missed during your summons for Gogeta or the Gammas, or maybe you are dying to have that unit to complete a certain rotation. Maybe you're looking at the coin shop and you wanna buy one of those characters in the coin shop, I would strongly recommend to first finish off all of your free summons, whatever they may be, blue zone, red zone, ninth anniversary ticket, 77 special summon before using this, 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 or even, even some of these, depending on which units you want to run to link with certain characters, or maybe even your burst coin silvers. I mean, all of these things should be used before the end of the anniversary, but get those other summons done first. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We have about 205 of these tickets. I should have, I think, two or three more. I missed the very first day of the ninth anniversary login because I was an idiot. So that is forever going to be uh, tarnished on my record, but hopefully uh, everybody forgets about that. Nobody reminds me. All right, so let's go ahead and do these. That's uh, what, like 28, 29 summons, almost 30 summons. So we'll just do these right now. Uh, going over the featured list, actually, let me show you that before we jump in. So here we go. The featured list, actually a very nice cast of banner units. So everyone wants me to say this, so I'm gonna say it. Mamba! We got Mamba here. We got two great units who are uh, fantastic options for the AGL first form Frieza, who is not around right now, but when he comes back, the Almond Raisin, great slot one. Great slot one right here. Anti Zamasu unit, launch, fantastic Pepigal. Pepigal units are on the rise with JP's recent Roshi release. Good support for Future Saga. Good anti Androids unit. Good Future Saga asset. That's it. Well, those are some of the noteworthy ones. And then the unfeatureds. You could potentially pull any one of these characters. Bulma, Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan Rage Vegeta, uh, Ribrian, good Tournament of Power asset. Chi Lai, cheat code to be able to see everything and dodge everything almost. Piccolo, again, movie hero support. What are some other options down here? Uh, we got Janemba, could potentially getting an easy A some point soon. Gotenks is going to be getting an easy A soon on Global. Universe 7, 17 and Golden Frieza. Team Universe 7, both getting easy A's very soon. I think Juden is in here too. Yeah, a lot of great units in here. Broly Trio, Bardock. So I think Paragus and Broly should also be in here. Kale and Khalifla, great units as well. So much potential. Not a guarantee, but the more tickets you have, the more rolls you have, the more chances you have to potentially pull one of those guys. So that being said, let's do it. Hopefully you enjoy the summoning ASMR, I guess. I don't really need to talk a whole lot. I'm going to try to yap here and there, but I mean, do we really have to? We all know what we came for, to see some summons. You don't need me boring your ears off talking about random nonsense. You know, I probably will on occasion. No GSSR. So we're basically doing glorified friend summons. Which, by the way, look out for that video. I am going to be doing a 600 plus multi video for the premium friend summons. I'm probably not going to have all 600 summons recorded in a video. I'll probably just go over the results with you. I may or may not have already done a live stream for it, depending on when you're watching this. So, yeah, if you really want to watch me summon on the most boring banner in the history of Dokkan, then uh, you can go watch my 600 plus friend summons, premium friend summons. If you don't want to do that, I don't blame you. Okay, so how many have we done so far? Like two or three? We're just going to speed through these. No reason to take any time. Best news of all, if nothing drops, we have so many SRs to redeem for Baba points. I've actually found myself starting to lose Baba points. Like I'm actually starting to get kind of low. I've been using my Baba points fairly aggressively, trying to 9999 everything. And I'm using it a little too fast uh, compared to when they're coming in. So yeah, this is going to be a much needed resurgence into my Baba point count. 
but just give me one give me one of the like the major lrs in here unfeatured lrs that alone will justify this video i want someone who out there who is too lazy to do these summons to see me pull bulma or jiren or team universe 7 or the broly tree or something they're gonna be like oh you know what maybe i should and this is also one of those rare times where non-whale players can experience what some whales deal with which is the anguish of not having a skip summon i personally don't care i'm a whale i summon like crazy to me summoning is fun it's very enjoyable going through the summons the highs and lows of the summons with you guys on stream i like it actually so i would personally not mind if they never do a skip summon i'm sure eventually they will but yeah comment down below for those of you who are whales chime in for those of you who are non-whales you are experiencing what whales are experiencing from these summons so feel free to also chime in in the comments i think it's fine i think it's fine one thing i would like to recommend though is if they're going to be giving us animations what the heck all right double launch sure one thing that i would like i don't know if this is a good thing for gotcha games maybe i mean for, from like a business perspective i would like real time during the summons to get a little notification like a little pop-up on the side telling me what my animation just meant like i get a i get a you know gohan piccolo all right or maybe like just just a notification boom combo or you know guaranteed featured or guaranteed lr or something like that coming in i think that would be nice i think that would also make the summoning experience a little bit less boring for some people because there will be more things happening while you're summoning that's just my random take on that so we've done like seven or eight summons so got a whole another 20 plus to go combo what is the combo gonna be let's find out i'm gonna say i'm gonna say mamba we're getting mamba i can feel it we got my with ma almost mamba free baba points with that go 10 thank you imagine getting a blue skies during one of these summons if you were to get a blue skies a zeno or a beers and Weiss animation on these summons what should you get comment section down below what should you be able to get if you get one of the holy trinity animations on one of these you wouldn't first of all i know that but i'm saying that if you were to what should they reward you with if you were to get that do you get to choose between the lrs that are unfeatured nah, that seems a bit much uh fusion right oh uh like we're under what is it 18 17 18 we're almost halfway through what is the total amount of these tickets you could get by the end of the anniversary the answer is probably somewhere around like maybe 280 ish because i think we're probably going to get a few more of these tickets from the incoming maximum thanks rewards we got 30 on top grossing so there could be something like that inbound as well as the usual amount that we get every day with there being 10 left what is that like 30 30 40 more plus the additional 30 so yeah like uh 270 280 sounds about right that's almost 40 multis 40 free seven unit multis easy baba points easy super attack fuel don't just baba them if you've got characters that could benefit from these extra copies for whatever even at the sr level if you were to infuse like 30 srs into one unit you could get a boost up here and there oh there we go year seven part two saiyan saga vegeta so my new random guess for worldwide as much as i want it to be tournament of power it's not gonna happen i got a so much tournament of power for the last like two months here we're not going to be getting tournament power so i'm just randomly throwing out a guess everyone is saying movies everyone is saying gt i am now officially saying saiyan saga is my prediction for worldwide download why no reason at all i'm just making it up 
I think it'd be pretty cool. TN would get a prime battle easy A. Maybe we get like a Dokkan Festival Krillin. A cool TUR. Oh wait, it wouldn't be a TUR, it'd be an LR. I don't know, a cool LR Nappa. We have Nappa and Vegeta. How about just a Nappa? I don't know. It'll be fun. Maybe a Goku Dokkan Festival LR with the snake. He's like running or flying from Snake Way. You do like a cool long-winded intro like that. All right, we got the nerdy trio. So heavy ammo inbound. Let's do what we get. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Three SSRs on one of these. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Three featured SSRs too, no less. That Mai is really good on the Future Saga Red Zone. So, Int Mai might seem like a bit of a snooze pickup right now. Trust me. Great unit on the Dismal Future Red Zone. On a full Future Saga team. Some of you are going to find yourselves with an awful lot of those Future Saga characters between the 9th Anniversary Summons and the Worldwide Download Summons. The Future Saga LRs from last year will be back and you will probably pick up a few of them. You could run Future Saga teams. They are still good. Future Saga teams are still good. Ooh, we got 18. We got backhand 17 too. And we got like eight more, nine more. Fifty-eight. Okay, eight more multis. Then we're gonna have two singles. I'm gonna whatever tickets I accumulate from here on out, I'll just do them seven units at a time. You know, I'll do those summons on my own. Don't need to make another video on it. No need. Since we are approaching the end, I will be doing a video going over which units I think are worth picking up with your coins, with your special stones, and all of those things. Because now I am done with all my summons. I still haven't redeemed those. I told you guys, do not redeem, and I have not either. Do not redeem the card! I will say it is nice seeing random SRs pop up instead of just Samasu and Trunks, like on the Blue Zone ticket summits. <laughs> It was starting to get annoying. If we had to do this amount of summoning on that banner, I probably would have lost my sh All right, five more. Only one unfeatured LR so far. I can't complain. We're not getting any combinations for that sort of thing. You just got to get lucky. So I got one in almost 30 multis i guess that's pretty good i'm sure some of you guys are gonna have way better luck on this than i do four multis left Should not show up on these summons. No weas. Am I really gonna go this whole video without a mamba? Come on, dude. Two more. Is that not the same combo we just got, but like reversed? Physically reversed. <laughs> What on earth would Android 17, Whis, and Chaozu have to say with each other? What kind of conversation could they possibly have? I blew up. I have a boat. Mmm, I like food. Why are you still watching? Why are you still here? Huh? 
All right, that is my final multi. Ooh, okay. Oh, I got the Mega Buster. Yeah. All right. So those are it for my summons. I do have more uh, ninth anniversary tickets coming in over the next few days. I will do my summons as I get them, but that is the most, you know, the bulk of them. So now that I finished these summons and I finished my red zone, blue zone ticket summons, and I finished my 77 special summon, and I'm going to be doing my friend point summon. With all those done, I can now safely make a decision. Well, assuming I'm done with my regular summons, like the Beast Go Hunt discount summons, I can make a decision on who I want to be picking up with this stone, with this one, with this one, and anything else in here. So hopefully you guys take heed, take he heeded, take headed, take headed of my instructions, and you guys actually uh, save the actual decision making until the end. It's always better to do it that way. There could still be a surprise super easy a or regular easy a announced on JP that could influence your decision. So the later you select these units in here, if you do decide to at all, the better off you are going to be. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below. Let in the comments what units did you pull on your ninth anniversary extra free summon thingies? Did you get any unfeatured LRs like I did? I got Vegeta. Did you? Did you get Juden? Did you get Broly Trio? Did it save you the need to spend some extra coins in the coin shop? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more new content in the future and click the notification bell so that you, the YouTube, know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to summon responsibly.